Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Glory Room. I'm Prophetess Lou. Hope you all are having a blessed day. Before we get started, let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you. Thank you for life, health, and strength. Thank you for loving us and taking care of us. Most of all, we thank you for saving our soul. Father God, we ask you today to be with us. We ask you to help us understand the word today as it comes forth. We ask you to give us um, understanding of what you're trying to say. We ask you to help us apply it to our lives. Father God, we ask you to bless the ones that are reading it and bless the ones that are hearing it. In Jesus' name. Amen. Our key verse today is Psalms 42 and 1. As a deer pants for flowing streams, so pants my soul for you, O God. Subject, panting for God. Christian truths, I'm going to say it and pause on each one to give you the opportunity to say it. I'm hydrated. I need God. I want more. I need you. One evening, I was praying and the Holy Spirit showed me a deer. This deer was right by this river. He was drinking slowly, but he was drinking fast. He stopped and looked around, but he got calmer as he was drinking, as he drunk. The deer left for maybe a minute and came back, and the deer was drinking. I heard the Holy Spirit say this, how I need, this is how I need my people to be, just like this deer panting for living water. He said, teach them how to stay near me, panting to be closer to me. But as I come out of the vision, the Holy Spirit gave me, which is our verse of the day, as a deer pants for flowing streams, so pants for my soul for you, O God. What does panting mean? Breathing with short, quick breaths, out of breath. Usually anyone does this if they are very thirsty or they need more water. And as they drink and drink, they slow down because their body is getting what they need. We as believers are thirsty for something. We're looking for it in all the wrong places. We, are, we aren't we are settled. We are angry because we are, our soul is needing more God. Some of us don't realize how much we need God until we come to church. We feel this peace. Some don't realize we need more of him until we read our word or pray. God is living water. He doesn't move. He's constantly flowing for us and waiting for us to come and drink. Verse 2, my soul thirsts for God, for the living water. When can I go and meet with God? The palmist said, I thirst for you, the living God. When we are believers and we take ourselves away from the presence of God and we ignore times to fast and pray, our soul becomes so thirsty. It's just like when we are working out and we or we eat something afterward, we need something to wash it down. And if we wait too long, when we do drink, we are drinking so much to quench our thirst. Why? Our body becomes dry and dehydrated. That's what it's like without God. We become spiritually dehydrated. This is what we we have been missing. Some people say, I need more R&R. Some say, I need a vacation. Some would even say, girl, if I can have one weekend, still, our soul is looking for God. It's looking to connect with him in more ways than one. Psalms 119 and 131, I open my mouth and pant because I long for your commandments. We have to understand when we are absent from God's presence, we are missing something. We are losing out on knowing him more. We we miss out on connecting with him more because we spent those days allowing those things to connect us and to direct us. But when we finally allow his voice to speak, he directs our paths and shows us how we realize this is what I'm missing. This is why I need more than anything to hear his voice. One day I didn't see my dad for over two days, which wasn't typical, was wasn't typical for me because I see my dad every day. And I don't know what it was. Our schedules weren't aligned. Well, one day I called him. I said, Where are you? He said, I'm at the house. I immediately stopped everything. I came right over. I saw him and hugged him. I realized that's what I needed. I needed to see him, connect with him, and talk to him. And when I did, everything felt great. This is how the Father in heaven is with us. When we stop and enter in his presence, he comforts us because he, he misses us. He wants to pour into us great things. Still, it's up to us to stop and, and hear him. And many of us don't want to stop and hear him. Many of us want to ignore him until we feel we need him. Still, when we sit back and we think about it, when we are in prayer, when we are fasting, when we are connected on a deeper level with God, we know we are where we should be because it is a connection that nothing else can give, give to us, not even a hug. I got from my dad can place the intimacy we have with God. The Bible says several times, come. Matthew eleven twenty eight. 28, come to me, all who are ha- labor and heavy laden, I will give you rest. John 6 and 37, all that the Father gives me will come to me, and I will come to 
and whoever, whoever comes to me, I will never cast out. These are the verses that, that we see. He says, come to me. He desires us to be there. He desires us to connect. He desires to speak with us. If you want to speak to God, if you want to hear his voice, turn everything off and listen to him speak. If you want to talk to God, spend more time in his presence and you will hear him speak. Today, we discussed the importance of being in God's presence, how easily we can become spiritually dehydrated. A lot of times we all get busy with life and things are in our health. And we let them slip, we let time slip away. But what we must understand is God wants us to spend time with him. He wants us to be like the deer panting for him. And a lot of us don't want to turn everything off to give him that. Still, God will show up when we give our time and body to him. Many times God asks people, how can I get, many times people ask me, how can I get God to show up in my in my prayer closet or, or in my room? How can I feel the Holy Spirit without being distracted and constantly giving and constantly not giving myself to him? And I tell him, you have to give yourself to him. You have to turn everything off to connect with him. That's the only way to connect with God. When we give, he will show up. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for everything. We ask you to be with us right now and help us to be intimate with you. Lord, we desire to seek you, but sometimes we lose track of time. We ask you today to forgive us and give us strength. Father, we thank you for never leaving us or forsaking us. Lord, we want to give you our time and ourselves. Help us to discipline ourselves enough to turn everything off and become closer to you. Lord, we need you so much and we thank you for everything in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Our reference today is Psalms 143 and 6. I stretched out my hand to you. My soul longs for you as a parched land. John 6 and 35, Jesus said to them, I am the bread of life. He who comes to me will not hunger, and he who believes in me will never thirst. John 6 and 35, Psalms 66 and 18, if I regard wickedness in my heart, the Lord will not hear. The Lord will not hear. Psalms 66, 18. Further reading, Proverbs 4. Acts 12, 2 Chronicles 20, and Songs 10. This ends panting for God. I pray you all have a blessed day. Remember, Jesus loves you. I love you too. Remember to like, subscribe, and follow on any platform. Remember to share with a family member or a friend. And if you could, please share on social media. Thank you. Be blessed.